Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. I'm so excited for today's video. I have been waiting to do this video for some time now. Today we're going to be doing an up close review of the Rachel Cruz wallet so you can see exactly everything that's included in the wallet and what you get. And we're also going to be doing a setup to see exactly what it looks like once we get all of our stuff in it. So stay tuned. So if you're just on your debt-free journey or you're even totally new to budgeting, first time hearing about Rachel Cruz or any kind of cash envelope system, I wanted to just elaborate a little bit. So Rachel Cruz is Dave Ramsey's daughter. Dave Ramsey is one of the financial gurus, if you will. Um, he come up with the seven baby steps and has helped thousands upon thousands of people get out of debt and reach their financial goals. My husband and I started on that journey about eight years ago, maybe seven, and through the course of that, um, was trying to learn how to do things without credit and doing more with just cash. It was definitely a little bit of a learning curve when I wasn't really used to carrying anything other than maybe like a little wallet that would hold my debit card, transitioning to using cash and what that kind of setup would look like. So I tried a lot of different wallets along the way and I found a few that I really, really love and work well, but I was super excited when I saw that Rachel Cruz come out with another wallet. Um, and so let's get started today. Before we open this box, can we just take a moment to really enjoy the fact that she did such a good job with the box itself. I really love this navy blue, the gold writing of Rachel Cruz on it. It really would be a very nice, lovely gift if you wanted to get it to for your significant other, if you wanted to get it for yourself or a gift. It really just, to me, something like this kind of helped keep me motivated while we were on our debt-free journey. And so I just really like the idea of the fact that they did such a good job of not just sending it in a plastic envelope um, for you to open, but they actually gave you an experience, which I thought was nice. Okay, so when you first get the wallet, it does come in like a really nice white wrapper with an RC on it. I'll try to link a picture from the initial video where I did the unboxing. Um, so we have already done an unboxing and I can put that down in the description below as well. But this is the wallet. I did go with the camel. I really love camel bags, wallets, brown tones. Um, so I'm really excited about it. I do love the wallet. It's a very, very soft leather. Um, so it seems like it's really good quality. The zipper, um, she's had other wallets before in the past that had some issues with the zipper. She really said that she took a lot of time trying to decide on this zipper and making sure that the pull was really good and that the hardware was really good and going to hold up and be durable. So now the one thing that I will say when I got my wallet, and this is not a big issue for me, but it may be for some, and I have spoken with a few of you who have said that you did contact Rachel Cruz's team. Um, my wallet, and I'll try to do an up close video in just a second or clip of it. Mine did come with some scratches on the RC hardware. To some, that would probably be a deal breaker and you'd want to send it back for an exchange. And I totally understand if you do. Me, I'm kind of hard on my wallets anyway. This is not going to stay perfect with the way that I kind of handled my bags and wallets anyway. And so I know it's going to get scratched. So I did not choose to send mine back. However, there was a couple of you that in the comments did say that you had experienced this same situation and you did reach out to the team at Rachel Cruz and they did actually um, exchange or refund your purchase. So that is something to keep in mind that they do stand behind their products. So that should give you some assurance if you're going to think about purchasing this wallet. So, um, it does come with a wristlet and it is gold hardware for the camel one anyway. Um, again, it's a very good leather. The clasp seems to be like it's a really good material as well. Have the D-ring and you do have the gold zipper. Um, this does seem to be like a really good sturdy zipper. It doesn't have, it's very thick metal and the zip, like I said, very, very nice and smooth. It is a very strong zipper, um, so there should be no issues at all. And we'll do a review of this as well if you like for me to use it for a couple months and give you my true, honest opinion. Um, but so far, I really, really like the way it feels, and I love how big it is. So when you open the wallet up, the inside of this wallet, it smells so good. Not only that, but it's so soft. Like the inside of the wallet is actually a little bit softer than the outside. I don't know if it's just the way that they had to pull the, the leather around to create the external part of the wallet, but it is so super soft on the inside. I really love that. 
Now, when you open the wallet up, on the very front of the wallet, you will have three card slots on each side. There's also three additional card slots on the front face of the wallet, as well as a slip pocket. That slip pocket opens up nice and large, which I really, really like that. It is a very good deep pocket as well. Um, the next thing that you're gonna see are the actual cash envelopes, which I really love this. I love the attention to detail. I love the little bits of the blue buffalo plaid that's there. Um, you have this little section that pulls down and you can keep your finger on it so the envelope will stay open. Um, she did go in to the wallet and there's numbers one and then number two number three hopefully you can see that okay and number four envelope they all open very very wide i don't think there's going to be any issues with putting any kind of cash in there by any means or even if you don't want to use it for a cash envelope maybe you don't need that many you can use one for receipts um, so I really, really love this. I do tend to run with about three to four cash envelopes. So I really like that she put that many in here. The next one is a very large pocket. Now this looks like you could actually fit your cell phone in here. It's got the gusseted sides here that you can see. So it does open up very large. I can't show you because I'm filming with my phone, uh, but as we do the setup, I will try to include at least a phone case or something in there to see if it will zip. Behind this large pocket, you do have a coin purse that zips, and I'm so excited that's included. And I really like the fact that it's on the inside of the wallet instead of the outside. I don't really like how bulky it kind of makes it when it's on the outside. And it's also just going to be right there as you're getting your cash or getting your receipts. You'll be able to put your change straight into that portion of the wallet, and I really like that aspect of it. And then this last one is another gusseted side pocket that is also very large so if your phone doesn't fit in this one you could definitely fit it in this back one there should be no issues with being able to put your cell phone there um or receipts you have so many options with this wallet i just really really love the attention to detail how nice and smooth the leather is it's very soft you can see it flexing i mean really this is they did a really really good job with this so let's go ahead and set up the wallet. And then again, if you wanna see a review, leave me a comment down below. Okay, so here's more of a up close view. You can tell here more of the scratches if you weren't able to see that in the previous angle of the video. Uh, again, that doesn't bother me. Normal wear and tear, that's gonna get scratched anyway. So I chose to just keep mine, especially since I was buying something to be able to help women overseas to be able to provide for their families. Again, it just is, doesn't really seem like that big of a deal to me. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this set up. I think because this is the front portion as soon as you open the wallet, I'm gonna put all of my things that I typically go to first here and then any things that I don't tend to use that often right here. So let's go ahead and add those in now. And again, what we are switching from is the Rachel Cruz Slim Wallet. That's a little bit better. Maybe angle and color. You can see the wear on this one a little bit more now too. All right, so let's take out all of my cards and my license, concealed to carry. We'll go ahead and pop these in. And put in here is going to be the receipts. Now I had receipts in two different places inside this wallet and that kind of drove me crazy. They're kind of disheveled. <laughs> that just tends to be life. I am going to go ahead and put them in the far back just because I tend to do cash, then my change, and then my receipts. And so you can tell even on a real day when it gets messy what it's going to kind of look like. Very easy, easily able to store that in the back. And then just for a perspective, I did want to just kind of go ahead and see what a regular receipt would look like and if it would stand up in the back without having to be folded over a ton. So let's get a look at that. Oh yeah, easily able to put a regular receipt um, in there without it standing up outside of the wallet or having to be folded down. That was not the case in the Slimline wallet. If I put it here in the back where I kind of considered that it would maybe go, it stood out and that was kind of an issue that I didn't like. And if you put it on the inside here, you did have to fold them down to get them to fit. So the next thing we're gonna do is of course load up our 
discount cards because if you're on the Dave Ramsey plan, we need some discount cards. So all of the discount cards were on the outside portion of the Slim wallet. Okay, now there's all of our cards in to the wallet and we'll go ahead and throw in our cash to our envelopes. Currently, I only have three categories set up inside the Slim wallet because it wasn't really able to hold that much. And so we've got groceries, sassy cash, and then what would be our ties, but I've already given that at church Sunday. So we'll leave this one out. So for right now, we have groceries. I'm gonna make that my number one that always has been my number one category inside my wallet. The second one has always been my sassy cash, which is my spending money, and there's my tab. So we will go ahead and line this up and get it back in order. And we will put this into our wallet. So number two is my personal spending money or sassy cash. So I still have two additional slots that I'm able to use, as you can see. And there's the labels. If you weren't able to see that a moment ago, let me open those up. So there's one, two, three, and four. So it's very easy to see as you're kind of flipping through the wallet, which category that you're going for. Um, so you would just need to memorize your sections, of course. Make sure that you're not pulling from the wrong slot. Now, let's see, because a lot of people have really liked these dividers. I'm just curious if they will fit in here. And so they will. It's a little bit of a tight squeeze. So let's say you want to use this wallet because it does at least subdivide your categories um, and make it a little bit easier to use. You can still go ahead and use these and then you could end up having more options have more options for your cash categories by combining two into one divider, if you like that option. I do have nine of these individual divider tabs and it looks really nice the way that it sets up inside the wallet so you're able to easily see which one that you're going for if you feel like you need more categories than just the four that was provided in the wallet. So that is an option. And these are plastic, so you can cut these down a little bit to trim them to fit a little bit less snugly inside of the wallet but that is a good option if you feel like you need more than four categories but again i usually am down to about four categories since we're um consumer debt free now so that is something to consider the change purse seems like it'll be great i don't have any change currently because the rachel crew slim wallet i didn't have an option to put change in so we will use that and um, overall i really think this is going to be an awesome setup i really like how everything is laid out. I did end up having to put my concealed to carry card in the front slot because it would not fit into these. And these little sections are a little bit snug, but all cards were able to fit in there without any kind of difficulty. So that's good to know. So just as a quick review, I do have my concealed to carry here, discount cards, my everyday cards in the front for easy access, the cash categories. We have the section for change, a place that you could put your phone if you chose to, and you also have a place for your receipts, all within the same section of the wallet. I did wanna to see too, because Rachel Cruz had kinda of joked about putting goldfish in her purse because she's a mom, if there's other options that we could use this for so that you didn't have to grab your whole entire bag if you were going into a restaurant. So I do have some chapstick and some lipstick that I pulled out just to see if it would fit and if it would work in case there's any ladies out there that would like to do that. And I also have some little packets where I flavor my water. Where I flavor my water, I tend to carry these into the restaurant with me to help save on the cost of eating out. And it does look like all of that will fit. It does kind of make it bulge on the side, but that is an option if you would like to carry that into the restaurant with you so that you don't have to carry um, your large purse. So overall, if you like a large wallet, I really do think this is a great option. You have a lot of possibilities with just using the envelope system, the envelope wallet by itself, or by adding in some of these little divider tabs. And I got these on Etsy from a shop called A Time to Remember. I haven't seen that she's um, been still selling, but there's still options that are very similar to this where you're able to label and name your own categories. 
Um, I hope that this was helpful, friends. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this wallet from Rachel Cruz. Leave me a comment down below. If you've seen all the color options, it's camel, black. They have a red option that was around at Christmas time if they have any left. There's also the same champagne color that's offered in the slim line wallet that I have. And there's also more of like a brandy, deep toned brown as well. And subscribe if you like the channel. There'll definitely be more budget friendly hacks, tips, tricks, and envelope system methods coming up. I hope that you have a great day and a blessed day. Thank you so much for being here, friends. Until next time.